speaker, Dr. V. K. J. Raghavendra Rao, who will speak about mobile journalism prospects to reach the unreached Indian farmer. I now request the speaker to begin. Thank you. Yes, thank you. So nice of you. I'm just uh, reducing the volume. One minute. Uh, am I am I audible? Yes, you are audible, sir. Okay, I'm muddy. I'm muddy. Uh, okay, friends. Uh, welcome to this important session. Recently, I conducted a collaborative online program for Manage. Uh, the title was Mobile Journalism. Uh, myself, uh, Navnita Ji, and then Ramya Vitri were the coordinators from this side. Uh, so now the issue has come that whenever we go to the farmer, a uh, lot of mobile content has been streamed, delivered. Gone are those days where we take this uh, pamphlets in a print form and all that. Even today, of course, uh, our ATIC and other uh, agriculture technology information centers sell some publications uh, just for that. But uh, to your dismay, it may appear that the print is the one which makes more money. Th those days are all gone. That is not true. Uh, the mobile platform has outreached the, okay, outrightly it has increased more than the print media. Print media is only for namesake. I'll be sharing some of the experiences of Mr. Darshan Devaya. He's a Hindu correspondent. He was on our guest uh, team. And then we had Dr. Venkat Kumar who talked about the mainstream media. We had uh, another uh, person, no, Ambrish uh, from Sisti Media. So uh, today's lecture is a combination of many of this essence uh, which we are going to tell. So the first training question or a lecture question is why should mobile journalism be promoted? What are the prospects? And how this uh, unreached Indian farmer? See for example you have 6,48,000 villages. Yeah, the connection went off. One minute. <laughs> Dan Lakshmi, are you hearing? Now the connection has gone, it's getting reset. connection connection Not Ray Vanchuru. A Ita country TTC. TTC on Ita our dog. Okay. Yeah, the, there was a network issue, and I think it's uh, restored. Uh, hello, are you able to hear now? Hello? Nothing to do. Hello? Yes, yeah, there yes. Was, yeah, there was a network. We can hear you. I'll share again. Okay. Share. Yeah, yes, we can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can. You're yeah, mute. Yeah, are you hearing me? Yeah. Hello? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing okay. me? Are you hearing yeah, me? Yeah, please. Are you hearing me? Hello? Are you hearing me? Hello? Are you hearing me? Yes. Yeah, okay. So we continue. The uh, question remains that why the mobile journalism has to be promoted. That too in the agriinformation.com and that too in the agriculture sector and the horticulture sector to reach the unreached uh, with 6,48,000 villages, over 60 million farmers. See, today you can no longer print uh, a customized media. For example, you know, the ETV, e you know, the Enadu paper comes out with the local editions of Telugu and then uh, even for each district they have an edition. 
Similarly, we have Samyukta Karnataka, we have RDK Patrike, so many print medium which are trying to customize the content to the local uh, language, the local dialect and the local content. Three issues are very important in mobile journalism. The local dialect, the local content, okay, and then customization of the technological information needs for every village. Can you do it? So if you have to do this one, a media house, for example, even agriinformation.com is a service provider where all the agriculture information is collated at one place and they are also trying to uh, distribute this content across uh, various agroecological situations and so on and so forth. But now why the mobile journalism? See, today the WhatsApp University, we know we very mockingly say that without WhatsApp you can't live. Okay, even uh, WhatsApp has outbeaten even the Twitter, the Instagram. I know those mails and all are very outdated, nobody does all that. So recently I lost my mobile phone. So it was almost like I was getting a heart attack because the entire content is on my mobile and you know right from my banking transactions to the agriculture content, communication with farmers, shooting photographs. Yesterday I saw a WhatsApp uh, forward. So once the mobile has come, it has not only killed the emotions, the interpersonal relationship, the way people are going to communicate, the camera is gone, okay, and then the way people communicate is gone, and then you know, now it is all ABC accuracy, brevity and clarity, very crisp communication, nobody wants you without bada bada bhashans, and then those things are all gone. So very quickly, I'm just going to uh, go ahead, okay, all these are my about myself. Okay, from uh, this was what uh, uh, Dr. Darshan Devaya was saying to me about Hindu, of course, credits to Darshan Devaya, the editor Hindu. So I've been using some of his slides and then trying to deliver this content because half an hour is the time. Already 10 minutes have gone. So from newsrooms to smartphones, mobile journalism, influence on journalism in India. So here the whole crux is today the print media is on the back side. The mobile journalism is on the front side. You know, one of my students, Navnita, used to say, sir, because I am a old timer, she is a young girl. She was saying that after eight pages of any newspaper, you have to subscribe, pay, and then move ahead if you want to stream it on your mobiles and then read. So that is how the journalism and that too mojo, when I say mobile journalism, has taken a front seat. Today everybody wants the content or the banking or the relationship or the communication to occur on your mobiles. So now the second uh, important question would be, how people gather news. See, earlier, you know, we have this content editors, you have this correspondents of various papers. Even today they exist. See, it is not like 20 years back. Uh, there is a correspondent at Karnul. Uh, there is a correspondent for every taluk. Okay, even in villages, you have those local correspondents who do have uh, smart mobiles. So they shoot the video, audio, and then quickly customize that content, give a title. Uh, they put a metadata into it. And then they immediately stream it to the main editor or the aggregator like Hindu or uh, especially Times of India. See now when I say the Times of India newspaper is available for 4 rupees or Hindu is available for 6 rupees. But uh, I got an information recently the editor said that it takes 60 rupees to print a Hindu newspaper. But whereas the electronic uh, paper or the electronic communication is almost I can say there is only a production cost but there is no distribution cost. So the distribution is almost instantaneous. It is tired. Uh, it's almost a free content for everyone. See how many of you pay for what you get on the WhatsApp. So you are getting free knowledge, free uh, judgments and opinions on your mobiles and then that's how you take decisions. So therefore, when we say about mobile journalism to reach the unreached farmers with 6,48,000 villages, 26 states, about thousands of dialects and then you know uh, different 126 agroecological zones, so the content cannot be a uniform content at a district level. See, we also did uh, about uh, 15 years back the SREP. That means the Strategic Research Extension Plan. So in a Strategic Research Extension Plan, we customized all the technology requirements for a district and then the document has been published. So similarly, every village has got a different agroecological situation, different crops, the way people are established their supply chains and value chains and then how they market and how the livelihoods are all done. So therefore, today gentlemen, uh, one minute. <coughs>
Something is getting streamed, I don't know. Just a minute. Okay, so now we go quickly ahead. Hey, you have a hard stream, Akhtar. Hey, what the hell is it? Just close that door, ma. I do whatever go work, Kagala. Close it. You have a Jaya Jaya Parishad Krish. Are you hearing the song? No, sir. No, no, some song is getting streamed. No, 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 no. No, no, it's not. Okay. हेलो हाँ अदर मार्टिन क्लास आदमी ने मारना इधर एक बर्ताई था नोट रिले या वो ना सार स्ट्रीम मारता है इधर अलवर कोगी ओके सो नाउ दी मिलियन डॉलर क्वेश्चन कम लाओ दी कंटेंट इस क्रिएटेड बिकॉज़ टाइम इस गोइंग and then therefore now everybody is a citizen journalist he may be agri he may be horticulture he may be veterinary and all the content people are very, very quickly going to shoot a audio a video and then put a photograph uh, you know one of my other uh, young professional she is called sanjana every time whenever a farmer asks a query very quickly this girl goes into the internet download something and customizes some sort of information and ultimately you know she has a small diary as well she keeps uh, noting down the mobile number of the farmers and then very quickly she uploads a youtube video so this is how mobile journalism works although it may look very simple maybe even that girl did not know initially when i started all these services this girl was not aware what this uh, uh, dr rob is doing so actually i was experimenting on some of these mobile platforms so today people need not wait for the long channels write an application and then get a content earlier a long back you know you used to buy this package of practices book which was supposed to be the vyavsaya panchangam or the bible uh, for all the farmers those days are all gone so today everything gets streamed on the mobiles see now see in india by 2026 we'll have 1 billion smartphone users see about 60 million are already there we have 130 crore population so out of that more than you know the mobile users will be more than 60% so therefore the sale of internet enabled phones are going to increase those uh, 2g phones are all gone today we talk about 5g phones i myself have a 5g phone and don't underestimate the farmers uh, and you know the today there is internet connectivity a very good connectivity even in villages and most of our communication happens on the mobile recently i went to villages and some farmers were discussing in telugu hey you know he was telling in telugu hey endukra ఒక ఒక వాట్సాప్ పెట్టు ఎందుకు వస్తావు యు వాస్ టెలింగ్ యునో దట్ ఫార్మర్ హెడ్ కమ్ వెరీ ఫిజికలీ టు ది ఫార్మర్ ప్రొడ్యూసర్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ స్పెండింగ్ ఇస్ మనీ అండ్ గివింగ్ దిస్ బస్ చార్జ్ అండ్ ఆల్ దట్ సో ది అదర్ ఫార్మర్ ప్రొడ్యూసర్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ చైర్మన్ హీస్ కాల్ వన్ మిస్టర్ బమ్మలింగ పవర్ దేర్ హీ వాస్ కోల్డింగ్ దిస్ ఫెలో వై డిడ్ యూ స్పెండ్ మనీ అండ్ కమ్ హియర్ యూ కుడ్ హవ్ సింప్లీ సెంట్ మీ అ మెసేజ్ సో పీపుల్ వర్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ మొబైల్ జర్నలిజం ఆల్ ది వెదర్ దే నో ఇట్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ది క్వశ్చన్ బట్ ద ఫెనామినన్ ఈస్ ఇన్ ప్లేస్ సో the mobile data prices have almost crashed thanks to i am not uh, promoting any jio or uh, whatever or act or whatever it is today netflix comes free there okay we have many other uh, service providers who are giving very cheap internet and i think uh, it, it should not be very difficult for anybody to have a phone all that you need to invest is just about 3000 rupees so duniya mutthi mein this used to be the reliance advertisement long back so therefore Those newspapers are all gone and nobody wants that so why this has taken a front seat is only because it is cost effective and a lot of revolutionized news gathering a lot of citizen journalists in all the villages and a more immersive sort of storytelling see even if you are there in bangalore you know some things become viral okay so there is a lot of traffic jam uh, you know somewhere you know there was a small uh, disturbance all those things are streamed on the mobiles you need not wait for the reporter till the next day to give you a news by the time you get the next day newspaper most of the news has already been consumed it has lost relevancy over time so now wider reach through various digital platforms so i have taken an act connection just i pay 600 rupees per month i think it is 6000 rupees uh, for 6 months with one month extra thing he gives me netflix free 
and you know in our house we have about five six mobiles and even my tv is a android smart tv and i had some old tvs also so those things i put up a setup box of 4000 rupees i have converted to android tv and now i don't pay much to this tata sky or something which is still a very outdated platform so this is how people are doing we are already creating new revenue streams out of this so now you will ask if everything is given on mobiles free of cost how do the content uh, developers the editors and the content developing houses make money they get money by even this uh, so called digital advertisement digital marketing social media advertisements and so on and so forth so therefore there is a pay per access models are also available uh, by uh, streaming the high quality multimedia content see look at this how my farmers you know i have to physically go so how he is sowing how he is spraying look at this all those things are streamed on my mobiles i need not go to the village to write a report of course we do go don't think agriculture scientists and extension workers don't go to the village we do go to the village but now the extension worker to the farmer ratio was very large for every one extension worker he had to service some 10000 farmers that used to be a very tough job when i started my career of extension in 1985 many of you were not born physically i had to take a motorbike i still remember the motorbike number c8 1855 so myself and my assistant we used to go all along conduct my demonstrations you know sometimes it is getting late you know i was in gulbarga all those black soils my motorbike got stuck a little moisture you know it's all sticky soil those things are all gone so today i can have a virtual meet and i can conduct my result demonstration method demonstration i can conduct my group discussion all these actions and techniques i've been doing on the mobiles So look at how the germ plasm is conserved. And farmer says, "Sir, uh, this is the participatory germ plasm where we use mobiles and say that uh, how these maize varieties are totally different." And uh, I can even give the nomenclature, or let us say, uh, I gave a lecture on this uh, participatory germ plasm conservation in one of the international seminars recently. So I told that you can give all such uh, participatory germ plasm conservation awareness through your mobiles. You need not go there physically. and even though you go only physically to validate revalidate okay and access this sort of information but my spread is larger with one mobile phone one person called dr vk jayag when our an extension worker like me can access so many farmers you know if you open my mobiles i can tell you i have about 20 25 groups i am an active member so i am an admin in many of the things every day from morning till evening i am hooked to this mobile and i keep giving advisory services on my mobile it may be talking audio for some videos for some it simple whatsapp message for some it is just an image streaming for the other these are all technological information and such a powerful media some people misuse it by putting the sai baba photo on the hanuman photo it's quite unfortunate that this medium is used like that and there is also one green radio this 90.0 fm you know how this sort of the community radio has taken see now fm means frequency modulation uh, very earliest experiment in india the deccan development society at pastapur village zaira zairabad district so we there is to be on pv satish he was working in doordarshan and he was a good friend of mine very recently he expired so a community radio is supposed to beam an information for 50 km radius there is all another village where in your kernul uh, okay that's my wife's district that's called overvocal okay they they also do this community radio experiments so how a tribe a community and a group of farmers can get a customized information in no time and obviously even if you go to the you know earlier you needed an antenna but you know this radio green and there are so many mobile apps where the fm radio is also stream no need of any antenna just you should have an internet connection and don't think of the data because a lot of data is free even 2 gb data is a very good data yaar come on quite cheap so similarly you know earlier citizen journalism is growing uh, earlier you know whenever there was a, uh, a minister coming or a program we used to call this uh, journalists you know we used to pamper them with good bags and then give them excellent breakfast and a party and then they used to have a coverage even today we have a, a press and media committee in uh, many of the seminars and conferences but otherwise also in a small mobile I see already uh, why this uh, particular visual is showing is before the journalist comes takes a photograph already there are people who uploaded the content 
and <clears throat> especially with the online platforms and you know give, giving virtual links people can access this even simultaneously so therefore i wish to conclude that this citizen journalism is growing and then mobile journalism has reshaped the journalist roles so then we asked this journalist sir earlier you were a news reporter you were a news correspondent you were posted the xyz place you you had to physically go there cover a crime story or an agriculture method demonstration conducted by the agriculture department and all that but with the present day social networking it has become easy and you can uh, generate a field report almost in no time so this is the power of mojo and then you know there are so many people who have made this uh, see almost in all departments of agriculture horticulture icr institutes we do have this division of uh, outreach we say or we call it as division of extension social science training these are the people who develop this content i myself uh, develop a content what is called arka samachar from ihr it's a youtube documentary which is coming right now we have been revamping this particular project and it will come so content developer will always be there in any research institute in any extension institute in any marketing channel this person who develops the content streams it through the mobiles are the persons today okay only some physical copies of the print maybe 10 15 copies of the annual report for a board meeting the ceo is only done see otherwise most of these are all mobile content okay and everybody has a hard disk and even if you lose the data on the mobiles don't worry you will have a backup somewhere in google both the images or you can have so earlier days you know if i lose my uh, mobile phone i was getting shocked but nowadays i can uh, restore all my settings and mobiles and all these things almost in no time so that is the power of mobile journalism and obviously bringing awareness even video films when you convert to an mp4 only the 3gp phone used to sit on the 2g mobiles this is when i did experiment even about 20 years back today in mp4 files without any distortion it streams on your mobile it streams on your android and smartphone it uh, streams on your tv computer screen and so on whether it is 16 is to 9 or 4 is to 3 is not the issue so we have standard formats see earlier you know when we did this tv experiment about 20 years back we used to bother whether it's an ntsc file or a pol file okay phase alternating line and national uh, television standards committee and then we had this hd tv coming with 1080 780 resolution today it is 1920 1080 resolution so gen uh, gentlemen that's why the 5g is required to stream this very high 5g content because today's content is not just text it's all multimedia content being streamed through your mobiles and nobody is uh, <coughs> you see all, all over uh, cinema theaters are empty they are empty they are all the media companies are almost going dry why because they are all see it was almost more than 6 months i think i think it was 3 months since we saw a movie in the theater because now no, the question of time and when i'm consuming the content right at my hand why should i really go and waste time so that is the issue here so a lot of inquisitiveness in mobile journalism and the curiosity is the one which fuels the innovation and people ask the right questions whether you are a phd or a slc or a farmer you need not be very highly educated to ask the questions because today it's all visual knowledge and tacit knowledge which is getting streamed so the artificial intelligence and the mobile journalism thrives on your curious minds okay beneficial productive tools are already available free of content whether the chat gpt or the internet tools so maybe pitch.com okay this will tell you how to create a marketing communication to pitch your uh, business for a funding maybe the angel investors the bootstrappers or crowdfunding and so on so high quality design and data integrations are there we have examine.com and then okay so you can very quickly develop this thing newspapers.com again so you can simply start reading the headlines up to i told my student told me that up to 8 pages it's free and then later on you have to subscribe with some amount so excel formula.com it will almost it's an ai tool which will calculate many of these things my90stv.com so it is also going to show a lot of music of course everybody are familiar with youtube so to see youtube you don't require a computer your mobile is more than enough and even youtube application it streams there 
So what else do you require? 5G means high multimedia content streaming over your mobiles. WhatsApp University is there. YouTube is there. Okay, uh, plenty of apps are there. You know, especially when it comes to the mobile apps, we have KisanSuvida.com. We have Kisan Rath, which will tell you about the farmers thing. We have the NHB portal. So today, whether it's an online portal or, a, or or any damn web portal, it can also stream on your mobiles. So that is the power. So don't throw your mobiles. Keep it next to your pillow and then access information and be happy. Toffeeshare.com, tools, PDF. Okay, these are all things. Then chat GPT, everybody are aware. I've given the link here and you can uh, generate a lot of content to the chat GPT and, you know, uh, some case studies. See, for example, when I was at NAM, we developed this artificial intelligence in AI, artificial insemination with WWAG was calm. The uh, app we developed was called Guy. See, where, you know, we put the sensors around the cow and then, you know, especially in case of buffaloes, they're all silent heat uh, things and then uh, the IVR has come out with a silent heat detection kit and immediately the cow herd or the herd man gets the message on his mobile that which buffalo or which cow has come to heat and when the artificial insemination has to be scheduled. So this is how, uh, you know, every data is right there on your mobiles. See, it is just like your no brokerhood uh, app. When you enter a flat, who comes, who goes, how your ticket is raised, how you pay the maintenance fees in a flat and so on. So all are mobile based. So, gentlemen, uh, thank you. I think the my half an hour is getting over. This is the last slide. So, a lot of apps have also been developed by IAHR. Okay. It's not simply a knowledge giving system. It is now become, uh, when I say Internet 3.0 and when I say mobile uh, 5.0, 5G. So, I say that many of the things are going to become decision support tools. Why only decision support? They are also going to enhanced decision taking system. See, suppose when you have Ola and Uber, you need not crack your head that how much money you have and then which sort of an, uh, uh, which sort of a cab you'll have a book and what's your distance. All those things, it will prompt and say that, you know, kindly take a mini cab because you are having only 300 rupees. You have to traverse a journey of 13 kilometers. So ICR seat portal and a lot of things are coming on the mobiles. No print, I told you. But it doesn't mean then, for example, even our doctor took a class on telemedicine. So today you need not physically visit except to take an x-ray or a scan. Okay, physically you'll have to go there. Otherwise, there are many tools and most of the diagnosis, the symptoms can all be streamed through your mobiles and then switching on your uh, video call or whatever it is, you can do it. So, okay, friends, I think uh, this is the last slide. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I conclude only with two statements. If at all you have to cover the 6,48,000 villages of India and even the remote tribes were moving to the remote place itself is a challenge. It is there that especially the mobile journalism plays an important role. And I think even with the technologies, you know, the GSM technologies, the global system for mobiles, the other one is called as the CDMA, Core Division Multiple Access. So America uses CDMA, Code Division Multiple Access. We, had the, we also had this Tata telephone, which used to come along with the telephone and SIM. But you, what you and me use, okay, the service provider gives you only a SIM. The mobile can be purchased anywhere. So that is the freedom you have got. Dunya meri mutti mein. Thank you very much. I'll stop sharing and it's open for discussion. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for the detailed uh, presentation. Now I'll take a few questions. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, one second. Okay. How can mobile journalism serve as a tool to deliver real-time agricultural information to remote farming communities? Fine. It's a very good question, especially when we talk of real time versus other ones. See, now let us say that uh, the monsoons have come and then the sowings have to take place. See, now I want to de demonstrate the ridge and furrow method and how to put a plastic uh, sheet on the ridge and then how should I start transplanting my tomato saplings, which are 15 days old saplings. So now, although I can give them 
can YouTube, which is already recorded, or live also I can show. See now, even though I can show a live, see people will like the real streaming. See, even that YouTube video is also taken through a real uh, planting uh, things. So I can physically establish my camera on the field, and I can stream it through any of the Zoom or whatever whatever platform, and everybody can log into the mobiles. Through that particular platform, I'll start showing how the planting is done, how a plant production is done, how I can do pruning, especially in horticulture. The maturity indices in grapes or mango are very million-dollar question. Every fruit does not mature on the plant itself. So, therefore, I can do this uh, live streaming, uh, stream a real-time information, and you know I can even have a three-way conferencing, four-way conferencing, live streaming, just like how a seminar is a uh, really stream. So even in agriculture, whether it is production, value addition, processing, or so on, I can use this as a powerful thing. And only the bandwidth is also not a limitation, and the service providers are already existing. So even about uh, 10,000 farmers can log in at a time, and different agroecological situation, and also learn how a tomato is transplanted. Yeah, you yeah. please ask. Okay. I am having a phone. Uh, what specific measures are being just a taken? Minute, just a yeah, uh, yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I will just call you, sir. I am right now in a session. Ten minutes. I will call you, sir. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Huh? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. Tell me, madam. Tell me. Yeah. What What specific measures are being taken to ensure that mobile journalism content is accessible to farmers with limited digital literacy and technological resources? Fine. See, now there are two dimensions of your question. One is the technological resource, where a very good uh, uh, smartphone should not cost you more than four thousand. So now, for example, in IHR we have this TSP program, SCSP program. We not only give inputs, and you know, today we can even sponsor free mobiles in any of the projects to the farmers. I'm telling. You. I'm not telling about entire thing, and don't uh, start calling me saying that uh, Rao told me that free mobiles will be given. So the technological part is taken care. The second part is the con. It is the internet connectivity, and then the 5G or 4G streaming which occurs. Okay, that is also taken care. See, because with uh, with the mobile. Uh, Uh, infrastructure of the internet, fantastic. See, you go to the remotest village of India today, whether it is North East Gujarat. I keep traveling a lot, so connectivity is not a problem. So the phone is not a problem. Now you came to the third question of the content development. See, today, uh, see, I am the head of the division of extension and social science. See, today I train all my scientists and my young professionals. See, today, if any of my young professionals says. sir i do not know how to download from youtube i do not know how to answer a farmer when somebody is asking a question he or she cannot work with me because they should know this one and already they are trained that when a farmer is asking a question how it should be answered what sort of and we already have a very huge uh, database and folder which is kept with us in our hard disk and our system and you know in a front php page with a mobile so my yp will say arka sahan or arka mili melt some technology immediately it accesses and it shows the uh, video and immediately she puts it on the whatsapp that's it so almost on a real time basis we have been helping the people and this is the reality and now you talked about the literacy which is another important issue no need of any literacy for the indian farmer most of our content is very highly multimedia based highly visual based you need not have any language so somebody long back told okay if you want to express your feelings you don't require any language you don't require any text simply the non verbal communication is more than enough the visual itself will speak because there is again meta tag and geo tag thank you ma yeah okay yes please next question could you provide examples yes. of successful mobile journalism initiatives that have effectively empowered Lakshmi yeah can hello? you hear me hello 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 yeah can you hear me hello hello yeah are you able to hear me sir hello hello agreeinformation.com hello 
हेलो धनलक्ष्मी जी नवनीता जी डिड आंसर द क्वेश्चन विच वाज आस्क्ड इवन इन द हेलो इट वाज आस्क्ड इवन इन द मोबाइल जर्नलिज्म कोर्स कैन यू हियर मी सर हेलो 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 आर यू एबल टू हियर मी हेलो सो कैन यू हियर मी वेट आई एम कॉलिंग धनलक्ष्मी मैडम हेलो 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 मोबाइल जर्नलिज्म इनिशियेटिव दट हेव एफेक्टिवली एम्पवर्ड इंडियन फार्मर्स विथ एक्शनेबल नॉलेज एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन Yes, see, for example, we have the Deccan Development Society long back. We have a CSA, okay, Center for Sustainable Agriculture. Then we have Natural Farming Prospects, okay, and then we have a couple of FPOs which are getting interlinked with each other, and they share all the mobile uh, through mobile the uh, price data or market is available, okay. All these things are already going on, okay, and institutionally even I told you the Deccan Herald or the Hindu paper or. Times of India have got a lot of multimedia content. See, on one side the same content they use it to print, the same content they use a WhatsApp groups or Twitter, okay, or yeah, they are using even Chat GPT tools. The same content you can get. See now, early morning when you open your WhatsApp, you get some video or any content. The same content you can see in hundreds of platforms. That means the content has been created somewhere. but it is streamed across multiple cross platforms it is going on already it is going on and some of the institutionalized mechanism even agriinformation.com you have all our mobile recordings you have all our lectures you have all our text and many of these things also people are sharing i think it's already in place but only thing is further we will have to see how the editing and then how the screening and some obnoxious content or some false content or unauthenticated content should not enter the system and this is where efforts are also going on we have the prasar bharti bill uh, we have so many other uh, things from the information and broadcasting see suddenly they remove the internet in north east or you know whenever some sensitive information jammu kashmir all those things are there so when they ban the internet obviously your mobiles will not work but in spite of all these bans also the both the good and the bad information are all going on so recently we had that uh, blast in kerala whatever they used a uh, multi series of mobile phones and uh, they used this social platform to trigger the blast that so both are existing and already it is institutionalized further it will be still more thank you yeah okay and uh, what role does mobile journalism play in facilitating direct communication and feedback loops between farmers and agricultural experts or authorities yeah see now i told you i gave an example just like the tele telemedicine or a three way conference call or a four way video call see now what will happen is now let us say that we are processing cashew or we are processing cardamom so this is a, you know some simple processing of copy uh, put a what was that a kivet cat is it yeah so now my my student went to a coffee conference uh, put you just come on the visual let them see you also see now this coffee arabica okay 
yeah, this girl is uh, Navnita. She is my young professional. You come here, ma. Yeah, that is Dr. Navnita here. She is a young professional. Say hello to all the agreeinformation.com. Hello, yeah. Dr. Navnita. Yeah. So this girl had gone to a coffee conference. No, why did it come? Okay, one minute. Now, I... what happened? Yeah. So now this girl had been to a coffee conference. and on the very next day it had appeared on the paper see how the coffee processing will go undergo a fermentation process and then there was another very interesting article okay they told that the coffee beans consumed by the civet cat you can google whatever i am saying so the feces of the civet cat it the month when it goes into the small and the large intestine and they collect the coffee beans from the feces of the civet cat that gives a very 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 different flavor for coffee which is priced at very high premium then nobody had seen what is a civet cat it had come so immediately we all hooked into the youtube we went into the mobile my god immediately after the coffee conference the civet cat became very viral so people understood so suppose if i had to understand what is a civet cat and how the coffee arabica gets that flavor it would have taken me a million years so therefore what i wish to say is mobile journalism was is not a jargon today maybe it was a jargon about 20 years back having a mobile itself was a very status symbol but today even the beggar on the road is having this small mobiles he stream he gets the multimedia content so i may not have money to eat but i am at least consuming a very rich <laughs> multimedia information at least i die with a lot of knowledge so that is the mobile journalism scope and uh, that's how it is pitched and that's how it is positioned thank you okay and how does the integration of local languages and dialects in mobile journalism content enhance its relevance and accessibility to diverse farming communities in india absolutely this is the same question i was also telling in my presentation see now let us say karnataka has got four five dialects we have this bangalore kannada we have mangalore kannada we have kur kannada okay we have like this uh, we have uh, uh, dharwar kannada see now what i do is for example i am a very tricky tricky kannada guy i can speak all the five dialects so when i go to the dharwar area i use their dialect yenra pa right yen madli khattiro the moment i say that i i attract the attention of the audience similarly ಎಂತ ಮಾರ ಇದು ಎಂತ ಆಗಿದ್ದು ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ವೆನ್ ಅ ಡೈಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ ಹಿ ಶುಡ್ ನೋ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದಿ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಹಿ ಶುಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋ ದಿ ಡೈಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸಿಮಲೇ ಇನ್ ತಮಿಳ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿ ಕೊಯಮತ್ತೂರ್ ತಮಿಳ್ ಆನ್ ಒನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಟ್ ಚೆನ್ನೈ ತಮಿಳ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಟ್ ತಿರುನಲ್ವೇಲಿ ತಮಿಳ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಕೊಯಮತ್ತೂರ್ ಇನ್ನ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಫುಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ನಾವು ಉನಕ್ಕೆ ಸೊನ್ನೆ ಇಲ್ಲ this is how people speak so there's nothing wrong in that when i use the dialect the delivery is better the apprehensions are less but the comprehension is more so therefore people have been effectively in a cinema for example when that vadivel who is a comedian comes or even the heroes when they play pranks so they are all mostly in the local dialects and that is how a, a comedy scene in sirupoli channel when you see this is how they are all created a comedy comes suppose if a coimbatore uh, tamil guy goes to tirunelveli and uh, speaks his tamil a comedy situation is created so like like that even in mobile journalism agri content we have to use the dialects there is no shortcut for it okay if i'm streaming to coimbatore farmers i'll bring a coimbatore artist or someone i will hire and i'll see that he delivers the content in that because i want my, all my farmers to enjoy the content and also learn from that so i am not streaming without business or i am not streaming streaming an irrelevant thing everything can't be in english and uh, today even mathematics we can speak in tamil what is there in that yeah okay yeah okay and uh, next question is what are the key challenges that mobile journalism initiatives face in effectively disseminating agricultural information to remote and unreached indian farmers yeah it's a good question again and then see as i tell my students of extension and communication 
the distortion of message see now distortion of message can take place only in an audio platform see when i'm showing the visual of a civet cat when i'm showing you the visual of the arabica coffee i'm showing you our arka sahan uh, custard apple so even though my audio may be distorted but people understand 90% with the video and the visuals so the distortion of message can be a challenge and then the misinterpretation by the content uh, uh, you know streamer the person who is aggregating information the compiler or the person who is giving a voice so if he or she is not very well aware of the content the distortions can occur so but definitely say for example i am an agri scientist myself i am and i am also a, a speaker i am also a content developer so therefore the challenge is to avoid the dis distortion of messages to keep the fidelity of the communication as high as possible okay because these are all authenticated and uh, scientific information see for example you know when a even a normal news a train accident has occurred somewhere in vijayanagaram so definitely visuals are there okay i don't think many are uh, highly distorted images because some original citizen journalist has shot something there he has streamed in the various social media the same media is again picked up by the hindu or the enadu or whatever channels and then the distortion is less but some people can also play the fool with this sort of media they can create a very artificial scarcity they can create somebody you know had an accident and the police beating up some criminals all these things can be dramatized as well right so such sort of false information also can spread through mobile journalism so mobile journalism has these limitations so therefore to avoid this we have this geo tax coming so suppose somebody has uh, you know they want to uh, discredit or uh, do a bring bad name to the existing government or an organization they may create a video that somebody was molesting or somebody was cheating somebody was beating and all that all these things can be dramatized also but once when they when when we put the geo tag of the particular thing see that fellow might have shot a photograph without the geo tag but if i back and if i go and say that where this particular visual was shot and what is the metadata of it i can easily catch the culprit i can say that this is not the visual of kurk but it is a visual of somewhere in davangere you know people have tried to make up these stories so all such uh, plagiarism test is in place but uh, we will have to use it otherwise uh, you know people may fall prey to this sort of misinformation thank you yeah okay next question what ethical considerations should be kept in mind when delivering agricultural information through mobile journalism particularly in terms of ensuring accuracy and transparency i think you answered the similar question no, no, now no no similar but i this is a direct question what you answered see suppose yeah. now i am streaming a technical content from uh, ihr i am going to talk to you about arka sahan uh, custard apple i will talk to you about the balanagar pollen plant okay which is also a custard apple where we take the pollen from the balanagar tree and then we take a small uh, you know brush like what i'm showing on this visual and i just uh, scrape it and put it onto the stigma of the arka sahan custard apple see now technical information whether it's arka samachar or whatever it is from a scientific institution or an ngo or an fpo definitely both in the credits and in the initial thing also the there should be enough uh, reference to which organization is streaming that is number one second thing is see suppose you know everybody knows that i am a principal scientist and head that ihr so i am definitely not a cinema actor who is giving you this uh, mobile journalism for the outreached so my authenticity is already established and i, I did tell you that recently i conducted a mobile journalism course so the training report or managed website you can see my name i am a national facilitator a trainer and so on so once when the authenticity is established if i give a misinformation man dj i gave a misinformation definitely i am available on all the media i can be caught i can be sued in the court of law see i cannot insulate myself from somebody suing me although i represent ihr although i am an employee of ihr okay 
whatever i tell there is a disclaimer it is the opinion of dr vk jairagwendra rao it is not the opinion of the indian institute of horticulture research i will also be very 100 times careful if i am delivering a technological information but whoever delivers the information he or she alone is responsible see now i have my two students here yps okay they may be young and you know they also have learned from us they also have seen the website of the ihr and they tell something to farmers the responsibility is not of ihr it is the responsibility of my students who are telling the information i tell these uh, young girls every day look ma you might have downloaded if you don't understand kindly ask me i will also tell you whatever little i know <coughs> further we have doubt <coughs> we go to the uh, pme cell we have a uh, prioritization monitoring and evaluation unit or we go to the concerned scientist we go to the field we get it authenticated then only we say every content developer especially when he is streaming the scientific information must not only be 100% careful 300% careful because you are now playing with the lives of the consumers of information see one of the parchments in the recent uh, uh, put i think you remember one fellow was asking you give lot of information who is responsible if he undergoes loss so we told him the loss responsibility is only that of the consumer of information it is not the responsibility of the information giver please understand it is like a matrimonial column okay we will we will put a girl and a boy and then we'll facilitate their marriage but something happens in the marriage are we responsible so many of these ethical questions are also coming it is right that uh, agreeinformation.com did post this question but especially when agreeinformation.com jairag vendra rao ihr we are dealing with this sort of sensitive information we have to be 300% careful we are not supposed to talk some uh, goofing up like what uh, some computers you know cinema stars will come and then they will be talking about various aspects as if they have a lot of scientific experience we should be careful ma'am we should be careful thank you Yeah. Okay. Last question. What steps are being taken to overcome infrastructure limitations and improve digital connectivity in remote farming areas to facilitate the implementation of mobile journalism initiatives? Fine. See, now I was I was uh, visiting a lot of FPOs recently. See, every FPO they have these mobile boosters. You know, you know, you have this um, when you put a Wi-Fi router. See, even in your house, you put a Wi-Fi router. okay the routers you know there are booster routers are also available about 3000 some cost see now let us say i am 100 kilometers away from a tower or where am i near the tower some of the small small infrastructure less than 10000 rupees okay suppose you are in a flat you are in a village people have been purchasing these boosters and networking themselves they have been sharing their mobile data i saw in one of the fp was See, I visited in Copper and all. They have put Wi-Fi routers, so all the farmers who visit the FPO, they keep sitting and they'll be, <laughs> you know. Earlier farmers used to discuss. That was called the rural radio forums in 1960. And then when I did these experiments in Nam, I used to call it as the DMF, Digital Media Forums. So where all this video content is being done. See now when I say Mojo, it is a <laughs> mobile media forum, MMF. so people have this sort of routers they sit together earlier you know in 1960 uh, you know all my extension students will used to do this thesis so a radio broadcast used to be there about agriculture practices an extension worker is to sit in a village and he is to customize the information for the village in the training and visit system but today all the farmers in a fpo sit about 100 of them they access through their mobiles and then sit and chat and share they'll say this is the tomato semi looper this is the tomato fruit borer this is how my uh, flower of uh, arka agni pari or whatever looks so all sort of discussions have been going on with obviously the mobile in the hand see nobody today i have not seen anybody today even at home so if uh, even if uh, the husband and wife are talking they don't simply talk so my wife has a mobile i have a mobile both are hooked to google we have already downloaded that information and then the discussion starts farmers are also doing this so farmer see today as an extension worker i might have a lot of authenticity uh, in this field but 35 years 
but still i tell the farmers whatever vk jerov says is not the bible don't believe me i will show you a visual of a variety i will show you the visual of a pest management practice and it will stream on their mobiles of course my students will also help them to get it on their mobiles obviously with the net connectivity and when i talk about uh, arca mealy melt technology to control mealy bugs everybody is seeing on their mobiles and the discussion augments what has been seen on the mobiles it is simply not seeing a youtube or a, not seeing something on your whatsapp you see you talk you chat okay you discuss you interact that is how the learning is enhanced importantly and i have been learning a lot and you know i have become very famous now okay <laughs> don't feel jealous i have become more famous than the cinema stars see cinema stars don't do interaction but vk jerov does interaction in every village the content is uh, taught discussed differently thank you okay sir uh, thank you for the detailed presentation so now we have come to end of question round on behalf of agriculturalinformation.com we like to thank you for a very interesting presentation and answering all the questions in depth and we also like to thank all the participants for joining this meeting the meeting will now be closed thank you have a good evening yeah. sir my only request is agriinformation.com thank you for giving me this opportunity kindly take this philosophy of course you will have my recorded lectures kindly give it to as many people as possible and let nobody in this world feel that they are deprived they may be deprived of money they may be deprived of an opportunity to get a job or education but today the information nobody is deprived you have multimedia rich content in all technologies throughout the world throughout the world it is there all eight directions in and around the 360 degrees let them enjoy and let us make this a digital classless society i think this is where we should do thank you so nice of you sure sir yeah, yeah. Sure. thank you sir yeah, thank, thank you. you i am leaving the meeting